All right. Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Raka Kodash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father being Yahweh, and that of his Son being Yahweh Shai. The only names in which salvation could be obtained, whether you could receive it or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you can receive that or not, peace, love, blessings, and salutations be unto you elect of the house of Israel, who are pushing this truth and truth and sincerity and in charity and in faith, and who are able to receive these things that are needful for salvation on this side. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it, man. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 6 and verse... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start at, uh, we'll just start at verse 1. It says, Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from their laws and their fathers and, uh, and not to live after the laws of their power. Right, and not to live after the laws of their power. Basically, you know, they were, they were compelling us, the Israelites, to follow the laws of Esau. Everything that Esau put into play, all right, the, the, their ways of living, the ways they dress, the way they conducted themselves, the foods they eat, the jobs they take on, all right, their, their economical structure. He wanted us to follow suit right along with them, man. All right, because they became the new, the new heirs, the new chiefs over the planet Earth, so to speak. All right, and in doing so, what did they do? They, they, they also would give us uh, uh, their, their God, man. All right, they would set up that uh, Caucasoid image all right, that 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 Caucasian image, all right, to be uh to be our God before them, man. All right, and, and going in verse two, it says it says, and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympus. All right, now I wanted to get a picture of Jupiter Olympus. Okay, just to show you, all right, what they were trying to do, man. Because as it is written, Ecclesiastes one and nine, there is no new thing under the sun. This is Jupiter Olympus, man. So he went and conquered the Israelites, and he put this image in their temple, man. Looks just like, looks just like uh, uh, Cesare Borgia, all right? Looks just like uh, Serapis Christus, all right? Putting themselves up as the Most High before us, man. You see this? Right? So let's go ahead and keep going. It says, and that in Gerizim... Of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwell in, in the place, right? So, not only did they conquer us and set themselves up as the Most High, all right, but they also got us used to calling ourselves strangers, man. You see, basically taking our blessing, which is the Most High, and twisting it in, into their own thing, man. All right, and that's similar to what Christianity has done today. All right, what stirred what stirred stirred up this lesson is I was reading um reading this uh this excerpt here which you know I've I've been going in on through the spirit but uh but this one piece here it says on every island he set foot on Columbus planted a cross. So he came and did the same thing, man. You see? Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. There's no new thing under the sun. He came and did the same thing. He came and set up that white Christ before you, man, that Cesare Borgia, and said, this is your God now. You guys are strangers, you guys are heathens, and this is your power. Come and follow us, and, 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 and that's the way it is now. Or or be put to death. And, and you know, we've got in all, all, the, all the countless uh, uh, mischievous acts that Esau did unto these people, man. All right? And they were doing the same things in ancient times, all right? Because then what, what they set up next was uh, Serapis. Let's go ahead and pull up a picture of Serapis, man, because that's, that's really what that, what that uh, uh, image goes back to, all right? Of, uh, of uh, uh, you know, that, that, that so-called white Christ, because you could trace it all the way back to that point. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and uh, go ahead and pull it up. Um,
All right, man. And then you have Serapis, man. Okay, look at all these images that you have of Serapis looking just like, looking just like that uh, uh, white Christ again, man. All right, look, you even have this picture, Jesus versus Serapis. So you'll see a lot of this is knowledge that's known, man. All right, let's go ahead and type that in. Serapis, uh, Serapis and Jesus and see what pops up. You see? So th this is all no this is all known uh, known information. And what Esau had done upon, upon conquering us is, is he gave us these images to worship, man. And you still got you two third Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who continue to worship these things, man. All right, who continue to follow after them in complete uh, 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 foolishness. All right, complete uh, uh, simplicity, man. When the truth is right before you, how could how could you believe that this is the Son of the Most High, man? He said he was rough and rugged looking. How could you believe that it's that, man? All right. Con, so you see here, man. Uh, 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 history, history repeats itself, man. This is this is nothing new. All right, and 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 it simply just shows you, all right, how Esau has has proclaimed and set and set himself up as the Most High and and, and truly, truly deceived the whole planet, man. I mean, look at this. All right, you got these images standing up in Jake's house all over the world, man. All right, and simply because simply because they don't read. They're going to sit here and listen to this man tell them that that's the case. Forgive and forget. We came and robbed, raped, and murdered everybody. Now forgive and forget in the name of sweet Jesus. All right, but when you read, when you look up the history on this, that's, you know, that's, that's not according to his, uh, to his liking, man. All right. And this is, uh, 1 Maccabees 3 and 48, and it reads, and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Right, not our images. All right, the 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 the, the they weren't painting uh, uh, these uh, uh, particular people. All right, and 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 prophets and and Yahweh Shai and the angels in the likeness of our images, man, but in the likeness of their images. You see. All right, that's where you get all these different pictures of these, you know, sodomite looking angels uh uh you know laid before you because because esau did that man all right let's go ahead and grab another one of course let's go to job nine and twenty four and it reads the earth is given into the hand of the wicked right so what is the wicked going to do if the earth is given into his hand what is he going to do it says he covered the faces of the judges thereof, right? He's going to cover the faces of the judges. If not, where and who is he? And he set himself up as those judges, man. Right? Because we, the Israelites, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, who are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, all right, we are the judges over the planet Earth, man. And there is a governing body being created, all right, that's going to reign, all right, upon the kingdom of heaven, which will be established here on the planet Earth, man. All right, but you see, with that being said, with that being said, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's clearly shown here what the wicked would do during their reign, man. All right. And that's that's, you know, falsifying the truth. All right. Trying to take our blessing and, 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 and make it and make it unto them. And now you got these Jakes talking about, oh, the Bible was written by a so-called white man. Well, they did a good job bamboozling you, man, because this Bible condemns them. All right. Let's go ahead and go to Revelation now right, and get the actual. Uh. The actual uh, uh, depiction, all right, of the Messiah, man. This is Revelation 1 and 15. It says, and his feet were like unto fine brass as if they were burned in a furnace, right? So if, if you have a man that has dark colored feet, then why is his body going to be a different color, man? It says, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Let's go up to verse 14. It says, his head... And his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as the flame of fire. Right, his head and his and his hair were white like wool. So who has white woolly hair? Let's go ahead and look that up. <clears throat> Just see what see what uh, kind of pictures come up.
It's not really good. Let's let's look up a picture of a sheep, man. Look at that, man. That's that's sheep wool. All right. Very very tightly knit. All right, kinky hair. Not no, not no, uh, you know, like some of those pictures that, you know, had popped up the first time. I might have spelled it wrong, too. That might have been why it was coming up, you know, with some different looking pictures and things. But, yeah, you know, showing you right here, man. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of Edomite, all right, so-called Caucasoid, have you seen with, with hair like this, man? All right. All right, you've never seen anything like that. Because at the end of the day... It's talking about it's talking about the texture of Jake's hair, man. He had white woolly hair, and when you go to the Book of Daniel, it says that the ha the hairs of his head were white like wool. Okay, because you've had people say, "Oh, uh, <clears throat> it says his, his head and his hairs," but no. When you go to the Book of Daniel, it tells you his head and his hair, or it's like his head and his hairs. It says the head, the uh, the hair, the the hair of his head was white like wool, man. Go ahead, let's go ahead and just grab it real quick. I believe it's chapter 7. Gone. Oh, here it is. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, the Ancient of Days being the Most High, whose garment was as white as snow, and his hair of his head, not and his head, his hair of his head, was like the pure wool, you see? His hair was like pure wool, man. All right, so you know, compared unto unto this, but white. All right, let's tight. Let's put in pure wool and see what comes up. See, that's a pure wool, man. And it has to be. It has to be. Uh, uh you know, pulled apart. All right, picked apart in order to, to reach this state that you see here. All right, let's see what let's, uh, uh, hair popped up. Uh, yeah, you see? Good example here, man. And then that's what we just read, Daniel 7 and 9. All right. Tighten kinky curls and not this, not this goat-like hair, man. This is not what the what the Messiah looked like, man. Okay? And and nor would it even be this, man. Lined up lined up looking goatee type of thing. Alright. <clears throat> but nevertheless, he was a Jake, man. He was a so-called Negro. He is a so-called Negro. Alright, in the flesh is what he would be, you know, compared to unto. But he's not a Negro, man. He's a he's a Judite from the tribe of Judah. Just like the rest of you Southern Kingdom brothers, man, like you're seeing in the photos here. All right, but with that, you know, I just, you know, through the spirit, man, I was reading this, and it, and it just kept making me think about Serapis and about uh, and about uh, uh, Venus, Jupiter, man. But you see how they've been putting these Edomite deities before you time after time after time, and we'll go ahead and end it on that um, Ecclesiastes uh, 1 and 9. It reads, A thing that hath been is that which shall be, and the and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. So we should be able to look at history, man, and, 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 and see what's going to happen and what has happened and what's going to come, man. But with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory as always into Yahweh by Shemiel Shabbat, Shemar Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Graham Millstone. And peace, love, blessings, and salutations under the elect Shalom.